Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be um we are going to be doing another video in islands and uh what we're going to be doing today is making it so um you can actually like click one and then it'll equip this and then if you click two it'll equip this and if you click like eight it'll equip this so yeah and sorry i haven't um uploaded in uh two weeks uh when roblox went down i thought it would take like another week for it to get back up and i didn't realize that it was um up like five days ago <laughs> so here i am uh yeah, uh, but I am here, so that is good. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go into uh, hotbar, okay. And we're going to add something to our uh, bar. So for every one of these, we're going to add a tool, oh, a object, an object value. I'm going to name this tool value and we don't need to do anything else to it. All we need to do is click, right click it and click copy. Then we can close that up and then for every other slot, like I did it in slot one. So you close that up and then for every other slot, you right click and then you do paste into selected. I, I'm not sure you can see the, um, the little right click menu, but I'm doing that. And then it should paste into all the slots. So, yeah, now we can continue. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, do something kind of simple, I guess. So what we're going to do is I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and then I'm going to say um, dot tool value um, dot value is equal to V. And V is just the tool that we're on. Okay. So here, right after we do this, I'm going to say temp2 is equal to instance.new, and it's going to be an object value. So we're basically going to be doing the exact same thing for the um, holders, like for the things in the big menu where you have to actually click inventory to see. Nope. Oh. Okay. So, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. okay. So here... Now that we have that, we can say, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. we can say temp, temp2 dot, um, dot name is equal to tool value and temp2 dot, um, value is equal to V and then temp2 dot parent is equal to temp. Okay, so that should be good for this script. So let's actually test that out real quick, just to make sure that it works. So we're in the game, and if we go into our player, we go into the player GUI, and in our hop, hop bar, we should see in here, there's a tool value. Okay, so now that we have that working, let's actually make it so that you can uh, do stuff. So the first thing that um, I think we should do is make it so that you don't see like the base, the um, the the tools like this stuff. So you can't see like um, the stuff that uh, Roblox made for you because I feel like that just makes it worse, you know. Where when you can see like what you um, have instead of actually having to like click one, two, three, and, like that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna add a local script, and I'm gonna say, um, yeah, uh, game dot starter GUI, um, set core GUI enabled, enum dot um, uh, core GUI core GUI type dot backpack false. So I'm just setting the backpack um invisible, and now we can say local uis which is this the user input service is equal to game get service user input service and um local player is equal to game dot players dot local player and the next thing that we're going to do is going to take a little bit of brain power to like actually like uh 
understand it if you are looking at it later, but this is the best way that I could actually figure out how to do because I just, I don't know. I just couldn't figure out a better way to do this. So, um, uh, yeah. So we're going to do um, local function on input. In input, not input. It's input. Input. And um, we're going to, oh my gosh, why do I always do input? It's input. And then we're also going to take in the chat because we need the chat to know if he's just like typing in the chat or something because we don't want like if they type one in the chat we don't want to equip the first thing so if it is chat so if chat if he is chatting if he or she is chatting then um we will end the function because we know that uh he's not trying to like access his toolbar or he's not trying to like um do anything with his tools so we're going to say if input dot key code um, equals equals enum dot key code dot one, then, and then we're going to do an else if, and we're going to do a lot of else ifs. We're just going to copy this. Actually, let's copy this whole thing. We're going to paste it. Then let's just copy it again because we're going to need to do this a lot. So we're just going to do that, and then we're going to name this one 2, this one 3, and then this one 4, this one 5, this one 6, oh, why, do I do, why do I do size? It's 6, okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's all we have. So I'm just going to open them up. Eh, I'm just going to open up the first one and the last one. Just makes it look a little bit cleaner. Okay, so what we're going to do inside here is we're going to say player dot character dot humanoid um e e oh equi equip tool. I'm going to say player dot player gui dot hot bar dot bar dot slot one dot tool value dot value and um that's good so now all we're gonna do is copy that paste it in here 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 and paste it in here. Okay, now all we're gonna change is change this to two, this to three, this to four, this to five, this to six, this to seven, this to eight, and this to nine. Okay, and you can see seven, seven, three, three. So it's all aligned. So all we need to do now is say uis dot input began, uh, can, oh, connect and then we're just going to connect to the function which I called on input so I'm going to say on input input and you actually have to get rid of the parentheses because I don't know why it doesn't work but you just have to get rid of it so that actually will work if I'm not mistaken that should be the whole thing okay let's test it out so there's n there's no uh, tool like normal tool bolt toolbar. So if I click one, <gasps> yes, it equips the build. Okay, and then like okay, I'm building. Okay, now if I clip equip like five, get a pickaxe. And don't worry, um, the build is at the end. I'll fix that in the next video, but um, I think we've done a good amount today. Yeah, because we, we literally made this whole thing in about 10 minutes. That's like record time, bro. Or guys, because, or girls and guys, because I'm guessing there are girls watching this, so I can't just say guys anymore. <laughs> I just said sa. What? Okay. S -s 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 sa. 
Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, um, uh, some people still don't uh, know this, but um, this game will be in the description below. And it's uncopylogged, so when you click on the link, you have automatic edit perms. So you can just um, click on the little three dots in the corner, right click it, and then you can click edit. And then you can get all the stuff that you need. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to close that out. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye.